All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video that I already did uh, on Hater World Uncensored, but I did it as a live reaction, so I really didn't uh, take time to do it correctly. It was just one of those things where it was a uh, one and done. Uh, but we got a video of Seti Nash, you know, giving an eyewitness account of what he saw take place, of a crime he saw take place. And I know this is probably like two weeks old, you know, and people are debating whether he, whether he told or not. And I'm going to break it down for you. We actually got two clips, a clip of the, of the telling and a clip of no jumper speaking about it. Right. But before we press play on this video, to those that are new to the hater world, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video. And most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you guys like what I'm doing, whether you don't. And salute to all day ones. Salute to all the new subscribers. You guys already know. Nothing but love. Uh, recently, I dropped a video about uh, Brick Baby and the Rolling 60s. And to tell you the truth, a lot of people are in the comments crying and complaining. Oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't tell you what to do, do I? I don't tell you how to live, right? Exactly. You know, so uh, keep them comments to yourself because I really don't care. Trust me, I'm only addressing it because you're looking soft. You're looking goofy, uh, trying to tell me, you know, uh, I don't even know, and I don't care. Just listen, comment on the video, tell me what you think, but don't try to tell me what to do. Come on. Uh, but check this out. Uh, we got a page, Blue Devil Reactions. We drop every day. We do uh, like court TV, police shootouts. Uh, we do like mini gang documentaries. So go over to Blue Devil Reactions. I'll try to pin it here if I can. Uh, also go over to Hater World Uncensored. We go live every day from 8 to 10. Hater World Uncensored. As a matter of fact, we go live today, but I got a lot of things that I'm that I'm doing in the back, so I don't know if I can, but go over to Hater World Uncensored at 8 p.m. And uh, if we live, we live, right? I'm not sure yet. Uh, and other than that, you guys already know, anybody that wants to hit me up directly, go to my Instagram at the Hater World we got a couple of things cooking I'm trying to release today. Those that know, know. i just been real busy. Hopefully, we can release today. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to start having guests for hater, haters only. And Southside Stories is getting revamped as we speak. Uh, listen, come the new year, this is going to be the place to be. Come the new year, all these other podcasts that are, that are, that are you know, trying to, like, overshadow what we got going on, I'm letting you. Go ahead. I'm giving you permission. Trust me when I tell you that come the new year, you're not going to know what hit them. All right. But with all that being said and nothing else to be said, let's watch this. These two videos of Seti Nash giving an eyewitness account of a murder. And let's see what No Jumper got to say. We always know that they on favoritism. So, you know, maybe they, they giving them the, uh, you know, maybe they favoritizing him. Favoral, maybe they, you know what I mean. Let's watch this video. Let's get you guys a South Sider reaction. Let's go. Damn, that was a video from earlier. Here we go. Give me a second. There you go. All right, let's watch this, and then we'll get to the other video. Part of this S. Then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We also spoke with some witnesses about what they heard. They said they heard an argument just before the shooting. When you heard the argument, was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it seem know, like they it knew each other? It was static. It was static. And his friend was like, he's not even a part of this. He's not, he not a part of this S. And then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. You guys heard that. All right. Now let me give you the second video. Now look, real quick, what we're going to say about that is this. All right. He said... They asked him, what'd you hear next door? He goes, I heard a scuffle, I heard an argument, and then boom, boom, boom. Of course, he didn't point nobody out and was like this, that guy or that guy. He didn't give no names, of course, right? But he's helping further the investigation of the police. He's helping further a criminal investigation. He made a statement on live TV that now the cops can try to piece together with his help, right? All right. If you're a gangbanger, if you're a gang member, if you're affiliated, why would you raise your hand and go get in front of a camera? 
Why would you go and say, hey, I know what happened. Why would you do that? Why? I, I, I don't understand the reason behind it. Now, somebody in my chat said maybe he just wanted to be on camera. And I think that's what it was. He wanted to just be on camera so bad that he bit his tongue. He shot himself in the foot. Listen, any real gangster knows I'm not going to be on film saying anything like that, yet alone telling the world what I saw. Like, listen, he on there. Okay, we all have that little old lady in, in, in the hood, right? Like that little old lady neighbor that, that peeks out the window all day and sees everybody outside doing their thing, right? And when something happens, it's that little old lady that is the first one to go say, hey, I know what happened. I saw everything. That's what that is. That's what that is, my boy. Listen, when the popo arrived, all the real G's should have dispersed. All the real G's did disperse, I guarantee. Bro, if you're chilling in the pad with your homie and something happens and you know somebody's going to call the cops, everybody leaves. Automatically, everyone leaves. If something happens next door, everyone leaves. Fuck that. I ain't going to be. I ain't gonna stick around for the cops. Well, you didn't do shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm gone. That's what the homies do. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody says, you know what? I didn't do anything wrong, but let me just stick around to see what happens. Bro, nobody does that because everybody's afraid of maybe I got a warrant. Maybe there's there's maybe something pops up. Maybe they find some weed. Who knows? I just don't want to be here for it. But it's crazy that you go and you raise your hand and you say, hey, I know what happened. Can I talk on national TV knowing that I'm affiliated to a big gang in L.A.? Yeah, his name didn't come out in paperwork, but don't matter. That means that you got rat tendencies. That means that you got snitch tendencies. You were so quick to raise your hand when nobody called you. Now imagine what you'll do when you're facing 30 to life, 20 to life. Imagine when you're facing murder. If you're telling right now, right, and they got nothing to do with you. Imagine what you're going to do when they actually put you on the spot. Bro, listen. I didn't know anything. I didn't. See, I didn't. I don't know anything. I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it was right next door to you. Yeah, but I have my headphones on. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Why am I even here? Like, I don't. Bro, I would not even get myself in front of a camera like that. It's just not gonna happen. I'll tell you guys a quick little story before we press play. Uh, me and my own boy Cisco. One time we were at my pad a long time ago, like 2001, right? Uh, we were chilling, and I had a I'm, uh, my apartment where I lived. It was like in a little corner, so you could pull up to my window, like in the whip, and park there or pull up like a drive through. That's how that's how it was. And he'd come over, and I was inside on the window. He was outside, right? And I jumped out, and we're sit we're standing outside, and we're watching all the cars come in from the entrance of the apartments. And I said the story of my life. Some lady pulls into the apartments, and some little kid comes out of the out of the parking structures in between the vehicles, runs out. The lady runs him over and runs over his head, his face. You know, uh, it was horrific to see that. Like, imagine seeing a little boy get his face ran over. The lady jumped out the car and let the car roll. The, the car hit other vehicles. She jumped off and ran inside screaming hysterically, right? Me and the homie looked at each other like, let's go. Full cops are about to come. You know, I don't remember what we were doing, but it had to be some illegal shit. You know, it, it never would come over just to say hi. We were either always doing some, right? So, like, let's go. And his lady was there that day, and we took off. We were gone, bro. We were gone with the wind. We were the only ones outside that saw that. Nobody else was there. And now you guys can be like, well, you're on camera saying it now. Motherfucker, this was 30 years ago. Like, come on. Like, we left. We were gone. And I know people are going to be like, Damn, how do you feel that you could have helped a little boy? Listen, I understand. I feel bad, but that's the, that. That's what I chose. I chose to not affiliate or partake in anything to do with law enforcement. So you can't. That's what I chose to do, bro. So you can't use that against me. Yeah, I feel bad for the kid and the family, but listen, that's not my problem. That's not my issue. Like, I, I can't. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel bad, but the kid ended up living, as a matter of fact. We all thought he was dead, but he ended up living. You know, uh, but that was that that was what I chose. I ain't gonna be part of nothing to do with the cops. Let the cops figure it out. Yeah, it's fucked up, but you know, I'm not gonna sit here and you know tell anybody anything. 
and we was gone. Now imagine this guy right here that's raising his hand saying, hey, I know what happened. Bro, and I got a, I got a, I got a worse one for you. I saw a guy get life. I saw a guy get life. I saw a guy get three strikes over his torta girlfriend lying on him. I was there when it happened in my apartment. And then I saw the, the Heine lie on the stand when I was in county. And he was in county for some hours. And we were going to court together. And I seen the Heine lie on him. And I'm the only one that can attest to that didn't really happen. I actually was there. But because I'm not, I don't partake in any of that. I can't do anything but sit on the sidelines and watch. The, the Paisa homie got three, uh, got three strikes. Life. And I'll tell that whole story in totality. It's some wild shit. You know, but there it goes. Like two instances where I could have saved a man and saved the kid. But listen, listen, we don't talk to the popo. We don't do stuff like that. Like leave that for the civilians and the, the people. And plus at this time I was heavy in the streets. That's just the code. You know, you don't break the code. You know, and, and and call me what you want, a scumbag or a dirt bag. I'll take it. Cause at that time, that's what I was. That's what I was. Now times are different now. Now maybe I don't know. Like I, I couldn't tell you right now. But I don't be putting myself in situations like that to find out. And it'd probably be the same. You know? It'd probably be the same. Uh so Seti Nash has no excuses. I don't care to hear the excuses. They mean nothing. You stood up there and you told, my boy, you told. I don't care if you didn't come out on the paperwork. It's in you to tell. You should have simply said, I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I, it was one of those times I had my headphones on. Let's see what Adam22 got to say. All right, let's go. So, so what's going on with Seti Nash? Is Seti Nash telling her what? Remo, give me, give me the outlook on this. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is real. I like Seti Nash. I like Seti Nash. We got a pod coming out in three hours. And I fuck with like, snitches. Come on, bro. Shout out Trenches News. So wow. here is what we know so far. There's a video that surfaced from about a few years ago where Seti Nash was actually... Hey, come on, also, yeah, I just 15, found somebody's vape. Who's is this? Who got a yeah, runs vape? Mm -hmm. Wait, been there 15 years ago? Wait, 15 years ago? We're not sure. Wait, wait 15 years? Come on, my nigga. I'm not even 15 Is there a statute of limitations for snitching? <laughs> wait, that's crazy. Because that might be no. pushing the limit of it, no, right? It never seems to I know there's not, but... It's All right, so look, yeah. here's what we've seen. So far, there's a video that surfaced where... Never snitching. Yeah, go ahead. ...was just the Is eyewitness... It's been there for some months. Damn, I wonder where it was at. Uh, well, mystery solved. What are you saying? Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, Seti Nash was an eyewitness to a murder that happened, and he was actually just talking to a news reporter, and this video just surfaced. So now, you know, internet's going to do what they do. This is uh, Gunna's original sin as well. Man, no, that's a little different. But, but, okay, but before the Gunna YSL shit happened, yeah. there was the clip of Gunna being on the news Crime talking stoppers. about a murder of his family. Gunna so, said, though, was a, and he was, killed, listen. A program. And he killed that man, not my cousin, and he was wearing orange rushes. Rush. Gunna actually identified somebody. So, dude was like, uh, so, Seti Nash and had a friend, friend like, and who's a reporter. Friend, and as for a favorite, hey, bro, you feel me, right? You was there, can we just come through, you feel me, and talk to you? Cool, right? So he does an interview with his homie. You know what? I'm not going to hear the excuses. It's disgusting. There's no excuses. You sign up for something, you play ball. That's simple. You can't sign up for something and say, oh, I want to move the goalpost. I want to change the uh, the narrative. I want, I want it to be this way. There's an excuse because I was 15. I was 14. You know, uh, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nobody's name. No, no, no. You went up there and you told the white lady what you heard. And the white lady put it on the TV and the cops watched the TV. Then the cops wrote it down in their statement. Witness saw this. Okay. Then they tied it down. Then they looked at the reports from the incident. All right. Well, that well, witness number one on the news says sort of ties in with what we got. All right. Cool. That's helping our investigation get this guy to prison. All right. Cool. Like. Nah, bro, there is no excuses at all. There is no excuses. I don't care how many subscribers he got. I don't care how many, how much money he has. The man told for free. That means that he'll tell when he's fighting a case. Okay? That means that he'll tell on his crimes. Somebody sent this to him. He needs a reality check. You know, uh, I, I think I saw a video of 1090 Jake trying to defend him. I don't know if he was trying to defend him because I haven't watched it, but I did see some about 1090 Jake says he's not a rat. 
I, I don't know. I have not watched it. Somebody sent me the clip. Uh, Seti Nash is a full blown rat. Okay, he's part of the Pino Gunna Six Nine. Uh, uh, P from QC. He part. Who else? Who else been telling? Man, everybody's been telling. He's part of that. No excuses. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why these people that know that they've been ratting go on camera and act like everything's cool. Like, bro, just live a cool, calm life. Don't. How are you gonna put yourself in the spotlight knowing that you ratted before? Like, how? Listen. Listen. Everybody, stay safe. Right, everybody stay safe. What do the kids say nowadays? Stay dangerous. And that that was never a thing till now. Uh, you know, make sure you stay ready. All right, make sure you stay ready. Just always be ready. And uh, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna kill this video or link call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Go over to Hater World Uncensored at 8 p.m. Hopefully, I'm live. Uh, excuse me. And other than that, you guys already know I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World production, and we out.